are they dancing up there in the light of the lighthouse? That's sweet. Ow, my ass! <laughs> Welcome back to To The Moon. Last time we played, we started to go back in time, learn about Johnny's wife, River, and a little bit about the bunnies, but not too much. Can't have too much information all at once. Anyways, let's get back into it. Whenever I think of the title of this game, I think of that song of like, Fly me to the moon. The moon. Not yet. Can't have those pickled olives just yet. Oh, we have talked to the bartender. The sudden music. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey yo, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? What? Sure, cash or credit. <laughs> credit? Because, like, I'm not going to stay. Check. I don't even know the last time I saw a check in person. I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, just put it on my tab then. You don't have a tab! Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? <laughs> You're so getting resetted. That's... Oh, so they can reset individual people. Hey there, can I get you anything? hi -o. Can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting enormous amounts of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, we'll loosen up. Okay, so we have one. The olives? Is that another? Why is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Are we talking directly to him? Yeah! Are you a fellow olive lover? I like olives, but like not that much. Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. I have never just like downed a bottle of olives. Whole, like just olives. Oh yeah, that sounds just swell. Ava. Disable taste simulation now, <laughs> so we don't taste them. Oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <gasps> Ooh, Rosaline's gonna be like, mm, no, you can sit with this one. I'm so gonna get you back with this. So that's how we got our first toaster. <laughs> Um, does anybody else notice that, like, River and Isabel, Isabella have been talking for, together, like, outside for a very long time now? Ah, okay. Ah! You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, I just can't understand how anyone would... <gasps> find such things to be disgusting take your time we've got two bottles left <laughs> so i said hey that's not right and they totally agreed we're just we're just getting bar stories from john and you know what else is wrong with society today taxes medical debt the patriarchy? Capitalism. Nothing. Yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? What? What is it? Eh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How were the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Okay, so first of all, there was a note. Pickled olives, Johnny's favorite. Didn't we get a note? Oh, the note must have been about the pickled olives. Okay, I thought there was a different note. What is this? Oh, this is just the memento. 
Okay, we can't we can't go check on the ladies, I guess. Wait. Don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. What did what did she think he was gonna do? <laughs> Hulk smash! Such a nerd. Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. That right there is a mood. <clears throat> totally worth it. Let's prepare the memento. Sigmund Corp makes, makes me think of it's like supposed to be after Sigmund Freud. I was like, why can't I do these edge ones? I know why. Because they're not supposed to, I guess. What? Oh! I was not understanding what to do with the document. <laughs> so I didn't do it in the minimum amount. And what is it? What is it? Is it a deed? Johnny, what is it? Oh. Okay. He's a younger adult now. Is that River? Cool. Why there? Crikey, not crack. You you aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like two billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. It's not a flagpole. It's just on the roof. Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't just you can't stay on here. You can't get off. Is she gonna push him? God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this place <sighs> Ava, what the fuck? In some ways he's very brazen, and in others he's not. I was gonna say, where did he fall to? <laughs> Why would they abandon her like this? Her? Hmm, I don't think they're talking about the lighthouse. I suppose she's just no longer needed. Oh, maybe they are. <laughs> no longer needed. Ooh. By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything is GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm... We'll be able to see her from the window! River is so excited! In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. So is the lighthouse how they talk about... Is the lighthouse like the Anya? I thought it was the platypus. And? And we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. We'll be able to watch over her every day. Or is the her the moon? And, like, this is the closest they can be. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. But grief isn't about, like... The, the death? I mean, yes, it is, of course, but, like, the death is meaningful because of how important that life meant to us. And this right here is the part about why it's so meaningful. So, like, yes, we know that things aren't going to go well for these characters, but this is why it matters. I mean, 
and we see this in media all the time there are some tv shows and movies where like characters die and we're just like oh okay we just like shrug emoji and move on and the reason why we move on is because those those characters didn't have the same emotional attachment right there wasn't this part that was built up the ones that that matter are the ones that we have the connections to because we're built for connections the ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading up to it that's a good way to put it the important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Because we still don't know why the lighthouse was so important to them. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? We don't know why. Yeah, so the lighthouse, the lighthouse itself was Anya, but then what's the platypus? I thought the platypus is Anya. I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Because of the emotional connection. Isn't that a bit too extreme? By your definition. And apparently Johnny's. But... That wasn't... This is where it becomes subjective, right? Like, it seems like ultimately Johnny let her decide, right? It was it was technically her decision to make. But how we decide whether something is extreme or not, or, or like a justified decision, is based on our own personal values, and our, which is based on our own experiences and all of those things, right? Because obviously, to River, it wasn't extreme. It was perfectly justified. So that's, that's something that's very subjective. I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. That's true. You just jumped off the top of a lighthouse and you were fine, right? Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my hand around, head around it. I mean, that's the thing is we don't have to fully understand it to have empathy for it and to, to respect decisions that other people make. We don't have to fully understand it to hold that space of empathy. I think if we tell ourselves that we have to fully 100% understand it, I don't know how many, uh, like how, if we ever will get to that place. Because our experiences are inherently going to be different than someone else's. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Received note on ya. So is this the note that was on the lighthouse? I, oh, it's up top here. Oh, the note changed. The abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. Cause the Anya note from before just said like a figure. So we're just exploring for now, I'm assuming. Oh, they're walking past. So we have most of the things we need right now. Just need like two more? Nope. That's it, but I don't know what the memory thing is. Never mind. I got there. Eventually. The rabbits are still a theme, still a memento. I guess I expect the mementos to be different every time. River? Oh, it's gonna be super weird to see him as a kid. <laughs> yeah, he just keeps getting younger. I mean, it makes sense what we've been doing this whole time. So this is the old house. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. Oh, I was like, where? Is he gonna write a lot of music? What's gonna go on? It's, um, for the origami. So does that mean we're gonna find out why it happens? Uh, an old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? I don't know. 
Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. They keep putting these, like, nerdy references in here. Not really? You can't even get it through the, its door. Yeah, but, like, it's kind of the magic of Doctor Who, right? Mm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is the pain in the ass for any for, for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me either. It sounds pretty epic. I mean, if they... That's one... That that right there is one of them. If they took an entire episode of Doctor Who and made it a thing to where the Doctor Who becomes human, if I remember that right, I think that they would do that for an episode. Oh, yeah. So this is about the rabbits. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning. The platypus is there, too. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. No, no, no. That's the, the, that rabbit is the one that gets the blue jacket. It's the special one. What else? Because this is how she asked him to describe the other one, too. Uh, the, the one that is multicolored. It's the only one that's multicolored. A bit puffy. And... And this is the same way she, she prompted it before. It's like, keep talking about it, keep talking about it. Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like she's looking for him to see it the same way she sees it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River. So she has a hard time talking about it. She has a hard time maybe putting the words to it. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some in inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is... Condition. This is rather odd. <laughs> this is rather odd, even for that. You think she's... Do you... The way they, like, make it so dramatic. Just use your words. Say what it is. Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. But she will inevitably impact your client, so it does matter in that way. Just get what we're paid for over with. So they have suspicions about what's going on but they're not saying it so they're like leaving the player hanging many long strands of orange hair let's see orange one hmm. i wonder if my initial thoughts on it and her oh this is the memento having a hard time like if this is like autism i wonder if that's true so this is the day she started it huh But then, even so, like they're saying, if this is, like, odd for her, then why did this happen, right? There still is then something that triggered it. Still in adulthood. I'm assuming this is his car. Can't pick up. Can't can't touch the platypus. What are? Oh, I was like, what is that? A fire hydrant? No, it's just an arrow. That makes sense. Let's not be too logical here. When we're going into the past in our dream world. So the house won't be here yet. They haven't built the house yet. So this would be something about why the lighthouse is important to them.
If that's the case, we're going down the wrong path with the lighthouse. Well, no, because with the house there, maybe it'll all connect. I also don't think there's anywhere else we could go in these memories, so. There's no music. It makes me anxious when there's no music. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. How? Why? You don't... I feel like what is starting to bother me about Watts, as much as I like them in the beginning, is that there are more and more type of judgy comments that are coming for us. Like, the house that should have been, that feels like a judgment. And some of these other type of comments that have been very judgy. Not very judgy, but at least have somewhat of a judgment type error about them. And I, I don't like that. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? But it's not your place to say where other people live. If they want to live there, power to them. And especially with something like this, where this place was inherently meaningful. Acrophobia. Is that fear of heights? No? Of, what is that? Something that... Something that Johnny River apparently didn't have. Is that fear of high places? Acrophobia? Sounds like it, it would be the case. That was quite the hop. Oh, then we can hop back. Or keep going this way. The lighthouse is running. Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Oh. So, like, whatever their first meeting was about, it was under a guise that he never told her about until now. And he was, Izzy was like, you should, like, tell her. What is that, a hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? Yeah, the lighthouse is Anya. You talk about it like a daughter, though. I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River. Are you insane? Get away from there. I thought that was, thought that was River talking for a second, like at the hacky sack. <laughs> hmm. I think this memory isn't too far from the last. I feel like there's probably more meaning to this memory, but I don't know what it is yet. Like, I, I just don't know enough about it. I think they may be connected. Probably. Hmm. So, like, this is a turtle. Um... So like the hockey or the hacky sack. <sighs> Maybe her finding out about her relationship was part of the trigger, but like why was that sig as significant as it was? Like like that's what I mean. It's like I don't know enough information. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Again, this kind of like this could be slightly judgy. Also like Dr. Watts is not in a relationship with River. First of all, also, it's River's hair. River can do whatever she wants with it. It's her hair. It's her body. Like, she can choose what she wants to do with her body. Hmm. Maybe cutting the hair felt like a change, something different. Or even this idea of, like, I'm going to set apart this past time in my life with this new time in my life with this very obvious thing. You know, 
some of these things, oh, the backpack, that's what it was, the old backpack. Some of these things I look at, and it feels easy to figure out what the ideal number. The other ones, I'm like, I don't know, I'll just do 20 moves and eventually I'll figure it out. Oh, River, it's like a record store. Almost to like teenagers. Everything with it is different, John. Or everyone with it is different, John. They're talking about River. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Help. Implies that like maybe River's stuff was showing up earlier than the rabbits and he was asking Isabel for help and Isabel's like, whoa, whoa, whoa everybody's different with this shit, like mental health is different for everybody <sighs> everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before even when we're in the same room, she's never really there it's starting to take a toll on me I just don't know how to take it anymore well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. We all long for connection. That's why it bothers him, because he's longing for a connection with River. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Very true. For everybody, right? And sometimes it can be more difficult for some than others. For a variety of reasons, right? We're not just talking about autism, if that is what we're talking about. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. Very true. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. Or even faith that, like... Hmm. I don't know how to articulate, ironically, what I'm thinking of, but it, I guess what comes to my mind is that it's not about always just, like, about caring, right? Just because she can't say these things or, or whatever isn't communicating in a way that makes sense to us doesn't mean that, that people don't care. It's pretty difficult to do day in, day out. I know. And that's, I mean, like, John's perspective is valid, too, that it can be difficult sometimes to feel like it's always on you to do the communicating. That's also very fair if we think about, like, caregiver burnout, right? Sometimes it can feel that way. But it's, it's also not always on... It's not always just because the other person doesn't care, though, right? I feel the need to really validate, like, John's side, too, is what I'm saying. Because, like, his emotions are valid. But I guess what I love about this is that he's not just blaming her. He's also sitting there saying, what can I do to still help her? He's reaching out to someone who apparently struggles with the same thing and is sitting there going, how can I help her? I don't know how to help her. Yes, this is hard for me, but how do I help? Like, what do I do? He's not shame-blaming and guilting her. Which is something that not all media does when they talk about these things. So I, I, I really appreciate how this game is portraying this stuff. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? <sighs> Shit, what even is normal? I mean, don't you have the same condition? I mean, sometimes we put all of our time, energy, and effort, though, in pretending to be normal. For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. That can also make a huge difference, too. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically, right? Like, if we're young, sometimes we just get taught social, social norms, social rules, right? Uh, to the point where even though it doesn't make sense to us, we'll just be taught these things. So as we, as we grow up, we just kind of pick up on social rules, social norms, things like don't get too close to people, um, but like don't get too close to strangers, don't get too close to people in general. But like if someone is a friend or family member, we do tend, we can get closer to them than other people. Almost like imagine an invisible barrier around you. We get closer to friends and family and that's not weird. That's not like weird to people, but like you don't get that close to strangers, right? Like we kind of like just pick up on these. We, we're not literally taught them. But if we have a hard time with like social norms and value or social norms, basically understanding the rules of society, sometimes we 
and and if we're young, we just get flat out taught these things. Almost like it's math. We'll just flat out be taught. You just don't get that close to strangers. It may not make sense to you. A lot of things in society don't make sense, but just like this is just what we do. And things like you make eye contact with people or sometimes you don't make eye contact with people. Like if, if we are diagnosed with some of this stuff young and we know about it, we just get flat out taught these rules so that we can learn on, we can learn them, work on them, practice them. And then we're not like pushed out by society as much because we've been working on these things from a younger age. This is very much a very valid thing. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Like, ignorance is bliss. But also this idea, like, ignorance is bliss in, like, so many ways, I imagine. Me, I'm an actress because I have been doing it all my life in so many ways that we can't even imagine sometimes. You hear neurodivergent communities talk about, like, masking. Right, and this idea of like how exhausting it can be sometimes. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. That can be really hard though. It can be really hard to have that outcast and like all the stuff that'll come that could potentially come with that but at the same time I guess when I think of that I think of a lot of confidence in a lot of ways to have that and to not feel pressured by society to change ourselves I don't know if it was by choice or by limit whether bravery or cowardice there are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize it's too late. Something I think about with this idea of, of masking or faking it or whatever is this idea that sometimes we've been faking it for so long we have a hard time telling what's real. Like, like who am I? What is my sense of identity, too? The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh. I've never met a woman with it before. That feels very sexist. But I guess the sad true, true, truth to that is that sometimes these things show up differently in women than men. And sometimes it's, it's just flat out talked about more about how it shows up in men more than women. I realize I'm talking about this in a very like um gender binary way. Sometimes it's how the medical community talks about it too, though. But sometimes that means that we have a hard time seeing how maybe, in this example, women, how women can show what neurodivergent things look like with women because we don't talk about it as much or potentially it's not studied as much. Which is really hard then if we are women with like all these neurodivergent qualities or things because we don't know what it looks like. It's not talked about. All of those things. So it's not that, like, we don't we meet women with it. Like, women exist with these things. But it's, it's like a... It's just not talked about as much. It's not focused on as much. There's also sometimes this weird dynamic of... Um, if, the, if the qualities... If the things that we're talking about in mental health in general impact other people and somehow impede other people's lives... Um, think about if we're talking about ADHD and it's hyperactive, we can see hyperactivity. It can sometimes impact other people's lives. That gets our focus more than mental health things that are purely internal. And so I feel like that is sometimes a factor in this as well. So that's that's what comes to my mind when I think of this comment. I've never met a woman with it before. Well, you probably fucking have. But it's probably just like not talked about or we don't focus on how it shows up in women. Because it, it is often different because of, you know, like a bunch of different factors. And technically, you still haven't met one. Oh, oh, that comment. Oh, ooh, this isn't part of our business. Let's move. The game keeps avoiding directly saying what river 
is diagnosed with. Feels very purposeful. The world would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered faces more. Feels really sad to say constantly, like, River's not our thing, River's not our deal, she's not a person. And I get not wanting to get involved with every single person that you can. Like, there has to be a point where you draw that boundary, but River was so important to John. He built a house for her. He, he everything after she got she, after she left was because of her everything until then was because of her she was so important in his life and that can't be ignored anything new today no what do you read in there the emperor's new clothes i loved this when i was young still do huh of course just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I love the Animorph series. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that series in ages. I never read it. I just like saw the covers. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Huh, <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. <laughs> I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. Kind of like their kids' books. But like, does she not see certain books as like kids' books? Are they more like comfort books for her? I mean, they're, yeah, they're children's books. It's like how he's describing them. I don't, I guess I don't know. I didn't read them. What's wrong with reading children's books? Yeah. Like, if they're nostalgia or if they're comforting, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Just like stuffed animals, like the platypus. They're comforting. They're like home, in a way. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. I think they're home if we have good memories associated with them, or if they were our escape. Which makes sense for this character. If she didn't have a lot of friends, and she was kind of like pushed out from society. If she read a lot, and reading was her escape, then it makes sense that books would be a comfort for her. Maybe she felt like the books were more of her friend than anybody she had in her life up until... John. And then it makes sense that they would be comforting. There's a lot of Johns. And I only need two things. <laughs> I'm not yours. You're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River! This one's not that corny. River? Sad can't click on her. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs? Have you read it? No. Yes, of course. Really? Sort of. Oh, no! Do you know what animal is David's main morph? That, no, I didn't read these books. I just saw the covers where it was like the human and then the cover would slowly have them be transformed into their morph. I don't know. I never read them. I read like Redwall. Five letter animal. I don't know. I I can't back up. I'm not proud of looking this up, but I have no idea. And you know what Google is telling me? A lot of information about Animorphs. That's what Google is telling me. Google is telling me that... I mean, I guess this is a spoiler for Animorphs. If, if you are, want to be aware of that. Um, what I've learned 
is that there's a lot to the Animorph series. First, first of all, according to the according to the internet, um, David has a total of eleven morphs in the series. How would I guess that? I don't know. Apparently, he's a villain. I don't know. His main morph is a lion. L I O N. That's four letters. His morphs are a golden eagle. Eagle, I guess, would fit. Lion. But lion is his main morph, according to the internet. Cockroach. Seagull. Flea. Human. I don't. I, I didn't know human was just like listed as. Uh, a morph. Anyways, human is listed again. Orca, human, rattlesnake, and white rat. Anyways. But lion is supposed to be the main one. That is what the internet is telling me that it's a lion. There's at least 20 books in this series? I had no idea. I had no idea. Anyways, Google says it's a lion. So... Hey. Human! That doesn't sound right. Okay, well... Lion is too many letters. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Google told me. So I am gonna act like I know. Like, I'm gonna act like I remembered. It is right! According to... Okay, Google. Google. What is David's main morph? Lion! <sighs> Why don't you read the book and find out then? I'm a little bitter about that. Google, like, did me wrong, apparently. I now know more about the Animorphs than I did before, so. It was not a cobra! Okay, Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra. It's not a cobra! Cassie, Wolf, why? Oh. Just wondering. Could have just Googled it. River, I swear to God, I did. And Google said it was a lion, not a cobra. It's a cobra. C B R. Oh yeah, Cobra! I mean, technically, I guess. We could just be misremembering, or John could be misremembering. Google says the lion! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Are those the ones I'm remembering where they're all like morphing? Like they're Power Rangers, but like, you know, people into animals? That's all I know about animals. Where's my thing? <laughs> Where's my magical doohickey? <laughs> it's not the technical term. <laughs> um, what else can I click on? Oh, is it the book? Oh, it's the book. <sighs> I feel betrayed by that answer. I say that like I remembered it off the top of my head and then misremembered. I did it! I will own that I googled it. Not bad. Not bad. Better than I thought. I thought when I got that started, it's gonna be like, oh man, this is another one of those. It's gonna be like 20 something things. It's not. I'm getting better. Receive no anamorphs! It's like salt in the wound there. <laughs> hey, you wanna know more about anamorphs? Not really. Well, now you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're like t teenagers. Ah, oh, everyone's leaving already, but I just got here. You're not gonna eat the food. You can't. It's like a dream. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. Wow. Okay. Well, on that note, let's see what we can click on here. An aged Animorphs book that checks out. Speaking of which, we got a note. Animorphs. Johnny's favorite childhood books. That checks out. And the pickle juice? Or pickled olives, sorry. 
I see le fromage, but where's the mouse? So, like, these are... I see the things that he likes, but where is he? This is the corniest remark you've made all night. Seriously? Seriously, out of, like, Hulk smash, all the other things, that's the corniest thing. Do you mean cheesiest remark? Wow. I like how sometimes these two talk to each other and then we get a thing from it. Like, it doesn't have to come from Johnny. I still find it interesting that it's John in the memories and not Johnny. Almost like he only calls himself Johnny because that's what River called him. Yeah, but the lighthouse, that makes sense. Wow, they're young. I say that every time. Seriously? Oh. I was like, there's nothing? You guys got nothing? What about Anya? Oh, there's no boarded up windows this time. Do you feel any different? What do you expect? Now that- Oh, this is the wedding! I was like, what? Now that we got the rings on, I mean- Oh, Johnny, I hate to tell you this, but like, just putting the rings on does not make something magical happen where you're supposed to feel different. No. Why? Do you? <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think so. Go on. What's it like? What's what like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Okay. Okay, I can see that. That's fair. This idea that now that it's official, and this is a symbol of the officialness, I can see that. That is fair. Responsibilities. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing. Do you like the name Anya? That's random. Would you like to name her Anya, the lighthouse? I understand. What do you understand? So that means that they've had conversations before that were kind of about this. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me if you want to live. Hmm. It should be working in theory because it was working in one of the other memories before this one. Aww. This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. This is very sweet and romantic. Don't worry, just follow my steps. Oh, are they dancing up there in the light of the lighthouse? That's sweet. Ow, my ass! <laughs> It was, it was still sweet. I think he stepped on my toes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, let's try again. It's still very sweet. That moment of comedic relief was just, that was good. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're a very sweet couple. To promise to love and comfort, to honor, and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise, to love and comfort, to honor, and, and I'm bad at marriage vows, to honor <laughs> and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live. I'm just glad these weren't my own marriage vows that I was stumbling over. Wouldn't that just be like a oh. River? Oh, yes. By the power invested in me. Isn't it just vested in me? I now pronounce you husband and wife. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ugh! The wedding! Why are you ucking? Huh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, is all. You're not... You're not fucking participating. Like... <laughs> you're not doing anything. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. Okay, wait, wait. That's not being bad at something. That's like... Having emotions. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. Really? Okay. So then that is like, oh no, I can't be seen as emotional. Let me just like take that back and make a joke. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Interesting. Is it a mistake because of this kid? Like, ro ro of Rosalind's, Rosalind's, like, personal history? Or because of, like, things that we know are coming? Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? Hmm. Oh, I better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma, tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey. <laughs> this is like our old friend making fun of the nicknames our parents call us. <laughs> oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as a nick as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Cause I'd rather you call me John. <laughs> Ugh, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyways? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Hmm. These notes. <clears throat> Are these what we're taking back? Joey's nickname, named after his grandfather. So we're taking these back to, like, that main memory? Oh, we can talk to the mom. I'm so proud of Joey. That was a very in-depth conversation. I really was expecting more. Are you seriously, like, eating olives at your wedding? Are the olives, like, code for something? Are the olives code for martini? Martinis have olives, right? Like, I am sorry, I've just never seen someone have that, like, just jars upon jars of olives. It has to be code for something. Kind of like how they shorten cursing. It has to be. <laughs> so many olives. Oh, there's more down here. I think I've heard of more people having pickle juice than like olives. What's going on down here? Did you hit a squirrel too? Oh, no, you didn't. Please tell me you didn't. It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Did they hit a bunny? Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? Yeah. I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. But the folded paper ones came years after, so then something would have had to have happened to make her think about it. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? But it wasn't it obviously wasn't roadkill to her. Not to mention so many years later. Yeah, the years later thing stands out to me. Don't ask me, you're the woman here. So basically like, oh, this is a woman's thing. That's I don't like that. And that was judgmental. People. It's a people thing to care about animals and to make connections. It's not a like woman's thing. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
grab it. Maybe something happened that reminded her of it. Oh. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later, she began folding rabbits because she was reminded, reminded of how rotten it was. No, stop. What? Stop. That's awful. Just stop. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. <sighs> A rabbit. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. It smells like a farm. And roadkill. Watts! Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. Well, this is a good place to stop. We've seen more of these characters. We're getting closer to the childhood, to Johnny's childhood. And I keep thinking to myself, there's no way we'll actually, like, just flat out be told, like, why the rabbits are there. I think we'll have to read between the lines. But as soon as I think that, the game actually shows us something, like the roadkill or uh, stuff like that. So... We are inherently going back in time. So we're going back to, like, uh, Johnny's childhood. And it is focusing on Johnny, but River is a huge part of that. So I do wonder how much of this is going to reveal stuff like the platypus. We still don't know about the platypus. We still don't know about the... My brain stopped working. We still don't know exactly why the rabbits. Like, all of that. So I am so curious, like, as we keep going farther back in time, if that will be revealed. Not to mention the moon. Why the moon? There's so much about emotional connections and symbolism here. And I suppose, as much as I think that Watts is having more and more judgmental comments come up, I suppose having those comments come up is a nice kind of foil. Isn't like, it's a nice contrast. It really, if there were just, if it was all serious all the time... It might feel a little too depressing. <laughs> Having Watts there um, it is, it's not comedic relief because it's not funny, but it, it really does, in a way, having, ha having him there to contrast it shows how serious it is. Um, it makes it so it's not all the same tone, which I think helps in a weird way. But... This is a good place to stop. I would love to hear your thoughts on the game and the video, and I'll see you next time.